Hello there, my name is Priscilla Freed and today I want to talk with you about something that makes my blood boil and that is when we take it upon ourselves to punish ourselves. Here's what I mean. Let's say you go through a really difficult time in your life like a divorce or a betrayal from a friend or a financial deal gone wrong or maybe you've had a major setback as you pursue one of your goals like gaining back a ton of weight after you've worked so hard to lose it or being slapped with a huge debt after you busted your butt to pay a bunch of it off. How do you respond to this adversity? Sadly, I've had too many conversations with women who instead of picking themselves up by their bootstraps and fighting hard to redeem their loss, they punish themselves. Have you done this? Are you doing this right now? If you've been dealing with a major disappointment, are you comforting yourself by eating crappy food? Are you sitting in front of the TV, mindlessly flipping through various reality shows? What about alcohol? Have you been going through a few too many bottles of wine? Or shopping more than you need to? Here's the thing, I want to help you realize how ridiculous it is to take out the terrible stuff that happens to you on yourself. Oh, but you might be thinking, I'm, I'm taking some time out for me. Really? We both know that's a bunch of bull. You're self-sabotaging. If you are working to lose those final few pounds and you're feeling discouraged, downing that entire bottle of wine is not going to help you. If you're trying to get out of debt, going shopping because you're angry about your recent loss is only going to make things worse. And if you're furious at your ex, don't go eat a bunch of ice cream while you sob on your bed. Instead, get hot. No, I'm serious. Get revenge against your enemy, so to speak, by becoming the best you that you can be. Lose the weight to shove it in his face. Become amazingly successful to prove it, not just to your betrayer or your naysayers, but especially to yourself. Make new friends, get a new look, train for a triathlon or heck, even your first 5K. Whatever you do, don't take it out on yourself. Prove yourself instead. I love what Frank Sinatra said. He said the best revenge is massive success. So go out and succeed instead of beating yourself up, okay? And hey, if you're in the Littleton area and you would love intense focus and motivation on achieving your health goals and your mindset goals, be sure to check out our Spring Mind Body Transformation Challenge. In this challenge, you not only get award-winning group or personal training, we'll also be working with you on your behaviors, that unhealthy mindset and unhealthy habits that are preventing you from achieving the success you desire. So be sure you go to the link that's below, check out all the details there, and sign up by March 25th so you can get an extra week for free. So until next time, I wish you massive success.